Hey guys, I've got another horror DVD review for you today. I've got another zombie film and it's uh, The Dead. Um, I've been watching a lot of zombie films recently. I just uploaded a, um, a video showing my entire zombie DVD collection. This film isn't in that video because I just got it today and uh, I watched it straight away because it looks so interesting. Uh, recently I watched a film called Exit Humanity which I really, really enjoyed. Another zombie film. And uh, on the online, online I've seen a lot of people comparing it to this saying this was a better film. So straight away I was very interested in getting this. I picked it up for about less than £4, so um, it's a good price. The film itself is um, 101 minutes long, making it kind of on the, the long side, and you could tell because at certain points in the film it dragged, I must say. Um, aside from that, I really enjoyed this film. Um, I was Straight away I was um, struck by how well made the film was. It was the camera work throughout was fantastic, absolutely brilliant, great quality and amazing settings. Um, the film itself is set in Africa. I'm not sure if it was filmed in Africa but it looked very genuine and um, it's constantly got brilliant settings particularly like um, towards the end like the rocky mountains kind of scene. Some of the camera work and the scenery around that point was absolutely incredible and um, it made this film just look great. So basically the film is about um, so, um, an American soldier named Brian Murphy who um, is on a plane, the last plane out of Africa. Um, a zombie infection has already took over and destroyed the country. And he's on the last plane and it crashes. He's the only survivor and he has to, and he's desperate, sorry, to get out of the country and find his uh, family, his daughter and wife. Um, at the same time, there's an African soldier named Daniel Dembele, um, who's trying to find his missing son after he goes to his village to find everybody there dead. But um, he finds out his son's been taken by the military. So the two of them set out on kind of like a road trip adventure. Um, they're they're travelling, you know, on foot, by car. And um, they're trying to get, basically, to find their son and get out of the country. Um, Plot-wise, I'd say that it was an interesting plot, but um, it took a while to establish, kind of. Um, with it being 101 minutes, it was kind of slow in parts, I must say. Um, there was... Scenes of up around 10 minutes, I'd say, on two separate occasions where there was no dialogue whatsoever. So to some people that might not be their cup of tea, but at the same time, the, the film still had enough content in it to uh, continue to be engaging and interesting for me. You know, the zombies as well, this, I think, were fantastic. They were very retro, very... Um, they reminded me of the zombie flesh eater zombies, or the zombie in America, the films are known as. Um, the, the style of them. Like you, were very, you were very slow in the rigid walking and uh, they were ever present. Like there was constantly zombies around and they couldn't stop for five seconds or the zombies would be upon them. And there was a constant threat throughout the film. You, was ne you never forgot that there were zombies around and it, they were really brilliant. There were so many zombies in the film as well. I couldn't keep track of how many kills there was. And that leads me to another thing. The violence in the film was great. It's an 18 and there's some fantastic gore in this film. The special effects are really good. Um, there's about an even mixture of practical effects and CGI, but I must admit the CGI was done quite well. Um, I'm led to believe that this film was had a really good budget because, like, as I said, the settings were very, very, um, look very realistic, and uh, the, the goal, there was lots of gore, so many characters in the film, you know, including zombies as well as survivors. And um, again, with it being such a long film, it must have had a really good budget. I've not done any research to check that out though. So um, overall, I'm looking at giving this one a 7 out of 10. It would have been a bit higher had it not been a bit slower at certain points, but I still enjoyed it. Um, also, I'm just going to say that uh, out of this and Exit Humanity, I do prefer Exit Humanity. Uh, definitely check that film out if you're into zombies. Um, I'd say this overall is a higher quality film than that, but I prefer the storyline in that one. And have you got a rating? A 6. So a 6. Um, I was expecting to give it more. But um, as I said, it's slow it in parts and it's not everybody's cup of tea. There's mm -hmm. plenty of killing, there's plenty of action, but again, there is plenty of um, scenes that I don't think were necessary. I think the story could easily have been told in the regular 90 minutes that you do get with films. Um, also, one thing I do want to mention is that I think the main actor, um, Rob Freeman, who plays Brian Murphy, wasn't a great actor, I must say. Um, I didn't notice at first with there not being too much dialogue in the film, but... <coughs> in scenes of panic or urgency, when there was dialogue, I didn't think his character he was very convincing as an actor. I mean, I looked for his IMDb and he's not been in too much, so perhaps that's why. 
so uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this zombie film. It's set in Africa and everything. Like you know, the that setting is fantastic. I can't stress that enough. The camera work throughout is great, and it's a pretty interesting film. So seven out of ten, I would recommend this film, although it won't be everybody's cup of tea. So thank you for watching my review, and uh, please check out my other videos and subscribe.